right, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica. Today I'm doing a fun video. <laughs> At least I think it's fun. It's just talking about makeup that I still want. That's not necessarily new makeup, um, but I probably won't ever get for those of you who don't know. Maybe it's your first time, you know, running onto my channel, which who knows? I'm on a no buy journey. I'm on a not minimalist journey, but because I don't think I'll ever get to minimalism, but at least conscious consumer, which is definitely honestly like kind of like the underbelly trend of the beauty community right now. So yeah, this is just talking about awesome makeup, think makeup that I've seen that I'm like, ooh, that looks really good. Um, but I probably won't ever get it, and I'm okay with that <laughs> as well. Um, I, you know, you know, I, I'm like, mm, yeah, maybe I do want it, but mm, overall, I'm okay. I'm okay with uh, not not getting it. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I want to talk about is Subculture by ABH, which I don't even know if it's still around, honestly. But I remember when this came out, well, first of all, there was controversy because like it was a different formula, pigments, da da da, whatever. People were hitting pan in it like that, <laughs> not in a good way, basically <laughs> hitting pan. Um, but yeah, so I remember when it came out though, I was like, oh my gosh, this color story is gorgeous. That being said, it was also a color story that I feel like I'm not sure that I would ever be able to fully like like, I don't know if it was for my skill level or even my taste per se on my eyes, but I saw that and I was like, that looks like so much fun. That is like, it's almost like a capsule, like, you know, when there you have like a capsule, like wardrobe aesthetic type of thing. Like maybe you actually do want way more variety in your life and maybe that like capsule wardrobe isn't for you. But like the aesthetic of it is just so beautiful that you're just like, I want every piece in that. It's almost like that. I don't know. I just was like, I loved it. That being said, probably won't ever get it because of no buy and like how many freaking palettes I have in my collection, which is just far too many for how slowly I use my eyeshadow. Um, but also I want to buy from brands that are, you know, brands that I haven't really bought for, from before and that are like trying to do some sort of good like Juvia's Place and Oma Beauty those are I believe both black owned brands um so I want to yeah I'd rather put my money towards them and they've actually come out with a couple of um eyeshadow palettes that have like similar-ish color stories you know they give me those feelings like maybe they don't have it's not exact dupes I don't think but I saw that and was like oh that reminds me of subculture vibes um, so yeah, and also for those of you who don't know, I actually panned the ABH Modern Renaissance palette from start to finish, um, and I definitely had an issue with that brand in terms of the, my pans were definitely rusting, give or take. I mean, I love the quality of the eyeshadow, but I saw that and was like, ooh, red flag. So I'm not necessarily like hugely into buying from ABH at this point, but I mean, that color story, if, if and when I ever buy more eyeshadow, that's like a color story that I'm like on the lookout because it's it would be unique to my collection and it looks beautiful even if like I only need one of that color story anyways so yeah it should be fine but okay so the next thing that I would want to buy from but I probably won't ever buy um, or makeup that I would want that I probably won't ever get is things from the bomb you know they had a moment and I pulled up their website right now I love their packaging on it, like that old like 1950s Hollywood type of feel and like the marketing of it is just like so cute. A lot of the stuff that comes out, like it's not ever something that's like wowing me per se. I mean, some of the products like look pretty good, but again, just with my, the way I want to buy things from here on out between like sustainable stuff black owned beauty and like what else a little bit cheaper like it's not necessarily like falling into those patterns that I would want but it looks beautiful and like especially like their Mary Lum right I think it was Mary Luminizer their highlighters I'm like ooh, those look so pretty like some of the blushes I'm like that looks also fun but yeah I don't think I would ever buy for them from them though just with how I'm trying to make my purchases and I feel like too because I'm making uh, fewer and fewer purchases there's it has to be really special it has to really fall under certain categories that I'm trying to hit um and there's so many makeup out there like there's so much like, like there's so much to choose from so 
yeah, the bomb, I feel like may not ever cut it, unfortunately. But, you know, never say never but probably not. <laughs> okay, so the next thing is definitely controversial in terms of <laughs> somehow Benefit blushes, they get me. I don't know what it is, but there's something about it that looks, they just look so cute and so fun. I've only tried, I believe, I think I've tried their mascara from like a point perk or something like that. Um, I thought it was okay. I've tried the Hoola bronzer um, from like a little mini size that came like, I think it was a Sephora favorites or something. Um, and you know, that was a little too deep slash warm for my skin tone, but their blushes, like the Dallas blush, there's like a sugar bomb, rosy pink blush. There's, I'm trying to think what else there's like that one. Oh, I do have the dandelion blush. Actually, I have that and it was, it's okay. I'm actually panning that. Wow. I didn't even realize. And that was again, like a mini size. Um, oh, the gold rush blush blush, but like I'm talking about too. Part of it is the packaging of like that little box. I don't know what it is. I think it's again that like old timey, like that old fashioned feel, which I know also, oh, and then the California blush, that also looks so cute. I'm like seeing this, I'm like, these look so cute. Like, and part of it is just the packaging. However, I do know that people, from people who have used those blushes, that the packaging is almost a little bit of a hindrance um, or can be. So yeah, but those blushes like, in like the actual like little packaging there's just something about it that i freaking love and they look beautiful a lot of times like ugh, blushes like really do get me even though i'm like i get them and i'm like they're standard you know what i mean like there's not anything like extra extra special about one blush from the next i really actually want to start and I, this is another thing i think i really want to start buying blushes well when i do buy blushes which i think will be definitely down the line more towards the drugstore end of things because I just don't see the added benefit other than like the beautiful packaging of blushes from from high end from like Sephora and stuff like that because I'm, I'm I don't know I feel like maybe like the lasting power but at the same time I don't necessarily need rosy cheeks all day I don't know um so I'm I'm good with that but yeah I mean and that being said I have a lot of blushes it takes me a minute to get through them so when I purchase definitely going to be down the line so maybe my opinions have changed but I definitely think I will m go more towards you know that sort of stuff but yeah <laughs> okay so the next one is again a lot of these are controversial <laughs> so there's that the next one is actually the Jaclyn Hill palette volume 2 from Morphe and yeah I think part of it is I have the volume 1 I really liked it I didn't get like the Morphe, I guess, okay, so here's the thing. Everything that I've bought from Jaclyn Hill, like as collabs, I've not done any Jaclyn Hill herself purchases. Um, they've never steered me wrong. It, I have like the champagne pop. Again, not necessarily my like skin tone, like perfect for my skin tone, but it was beautiful. It's beautiful, I loved it. Um, and then I got the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette, the first one, um, and beautiful really lovely. I do like that palette. I think it's like a great like encompassing palette. Love it. Um, and then this volume two, I have been like looking at it. I'm like, I definitely want more purples in my life. I want more bright pinks. I want more yellows. And the part of the palette, like the bottom slash like left side of the palette is what that <laughs> color story is that I'm like thinking. I'm like, I want more of those types of colors in my collection. Um, so yeah, but Jaclyn Hill controversial, Morphe controversial, probably won't get it. Also don't need that many eyeshadows in my life. Definitely can just get singles if and when that ever, that time ever comes. Again, far too many eyeshadow palettes, far too many. <laughs> I don't need any more. Um, even though like those are things that I'm looking for where I'm like, if I were to bring something in, what would I like work well in my collection? Which that would, and again, the collection collector side of me the completionist volume one i have volume one jacqueline hill so volume two might as well right um no 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 well don't need it don't need it but i think it's a beautiful palette um i understand why people purchased it it looks really beautiful however again not necessarily supporting the people the brands not in my, you know, uh, journey, make a buying journey time frame. So there's that, but I want it, but I won't get it. <laughs> okay. So the next thing is Too Faced. 
generally they're Too Faced products like but actually these last few months I feel like there hasn't been that many Too Faced products that I'm like yeah I want that but usually Too Faced is really good with their packaging and they they get me but recently I've been a little bit distant from them like I'm just like ah eh, I don't know I don't know what it is if it's like their kitschiness is like done for but there are like palettes in the past like their sugar or their I think it was like their spice palette for Christmas time that they did a couple years ago and then I think they do volume two last year that also looked kind of cute um again I have like a lot of I think I have all the chocolate bar oh no I don't oh the chocolate gold one I really would want and I have the milk or regular chocolate semi-sweet chocolate and chocolate bonbons palette so again I think because I have like that completionist feeling from like the past, like digging in, like wanting to climb out, be like, get these, <laughs> complete your collection. So there are some things from Too Faced that they bring out, but I'm like, ooh, that looks really nice. I really want that. Um, but again, not recently, I feel like. I don't know why, but yeah, there are always like products from Too Faced. I'm like, mm, I really would like that, but I won't, I won't do it. Okay, this last one is sad. <laughs> I really want more Becca highlighters, but unfortunately, because they're going out of business, I probably won't ever get any more Becca highlighters, which is fine. I don't need it in my collection. I want them in the future, but there's not necessarily going to be a future for Becca highlighters at this point, so that's not going to happen ever, <laughs> but I really liked their one that they came out with the LGBTQIA plus community, the Pride Month this last month of this last year um so I really like that one it looks like really pretty when didn't get it not in my journey of buying at this point um looked pretty though and then I think some of the others like oh the vanilla quartz looks really pretty I don't know there's just like so much so many that I want to like try the year of like ones look really pretty I don't know if that's still champagne pop or what but um the one the Berlin glow right the Berlin glow highlighter everyone talks about looked gorgeous. <laughs> Wish I had it. There's that. I probably won't be getting any more Becca highlighters. I do have the sec uh, Prosecco Pop, Pop Liquid Highlighter from them that I'm actually panning right now. It's a little too deep for my skin tone, um, but I'm using it as like more of like body type stuff. And then just on the um, highlights of my cheekbones, I also have their Champagne Pop and I think I have a really, really pink highlighter. It came in like a mini, but I'm using it as, or I will use it as an eyeshadow because it is like so pink. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I think it was made for someone maybe with like a darker skin tone to like make it look really like pink and pretty, but uh, I don't have a darker skin, to skin tone, so I'll probably just use it as an eyeshadow, um, but it looks really beautiful. So I do have a few things from Becca, <laughs> but I just want more. I want all the things from Becca because it looks beautiful. But yeah, and again, that Jaclyn Hill palette, that face palette that they came out with looks really beautiful. The eye palette as well, although I know there was like, some of it was not good, some of it was bad. Poor Becca. I'm sad that they're closing. That was one thing that was like, aw. Um, I also have their Radiant Concealer, I think it was. I think, what is it? Let's see. Their Under Eye Brightening Corrector. I have that in light. I really, really like it. I am like unsure. I'm like, maybe do I get a backup, which... <laughs> I normally don't do, but um, it's beautiful and it's actually really helped me. It's become a big staple in, um, for my under eyes recently. I really love it. So I might, I might do that, which I'm like, that's fine, I think. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, poor Becca, poor Becca, but I probably won't ever get any more of their highlighters for sure, unfortunately. But um, that's it. I don't really have like a, you know, and now we're closing it. Um, but those are some of the products that I still left, left over. I see them and they like make me go, oh, I want that. Um, but I'm so strongly on the, I'm not buying anything. I thought it would be a fun little video just to come on and like lust after makeup and <sighs> look at the things we, st we want but won't get and be okay with it. I think at the end of the day, the whole point is that I'm okay with it. I will live <laughs> after this, everything is fine. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments. I would love to know things that you're lusting after that you're like, I really wish, but no, I won't, but I wish, but no, I won't. <laughs> um, I want to know what you're like thinking that you're like, wow, I really wish, or I really want, but I'm not going to. Um, 
so yeah i think that's it thanks so much for watching i hope y'all like this let me know <laughs> anyways have a good day bye